human species, Homo heidelbergensis, lived in a dangerous world alongside animals like lions, hyenas, wolves, and bears. And we can find direct evidence of that at Boxgrove, where we find that the Heidelbergensis people were butchering a large animal like a rhinoceros. They were butchering the bones, smashing open the brains, and they were eating the flesh of the rhinoceros. Tishimanyon 고단했던 당시의 삶을 말해 줍니다. Life was certainly dangerous for these people. Um, they had many predators around that would have eaten them. Um, they also had to survive at times quite challenging climate conditions. The winters could have been very cold. Um, and yes, their bodies were built with great strength. They, they had a lot of muscles, they had very thick bones. So life was very demanding and their bodies were built very strongly for those conditions. 맹수가 도사리는 가혹한 환경에서 생존을 위해 몸집을 키웠던 그들. 뇌가 커졌다는 점에도 주목해야 합니다. Uh, and it increases very rap rapidly from about um, 900 cc's to what we have now, which is something about, on average, about 1250 to 1400 cc's. We don't, of course, know whether Heidelbergensis people spoke or had language. But I think when we look at the complexity of their way of life, the fact that they were organized to either scavenge or hunt large, dangerous animals. For humans, that really requires cooperation and planning. So I think they could speak to each other. Their language probably was a practical language for what they needed at the time. I don't think it was as complex as the language we use today, but I think they were speaking to each other in order to plan and cooperate. Dongyo를 살해한 최초의 인류이자 죽은 자의 뇌를 파먹음으로써 상대의 지혜를 흡수한다는 의식이 생겨나기도 했죠. 그러나 지구는 점점 추워졌습니다. 누구보다 강인했던 그들도 더 이상 변화를 견디지 못했습니다. Indonesia의 Flores 섬. 이 섬의 거대한 석회 동굴에서 2003년 아주 오래된 인류의 흔적이 발견됐습니다. 처음엔 작고 연약해서 어린아이의 뼈라고 생각했습니다. 하지만 뼈를 조합해보니 아니었습니다. 키 106cm에 몸무게 약 30kg의 성인 여성으로 밝혀졌죠. 호모 사피엔스의 시대인 18,000년 전에 살았을 것으로 추정되지만 호모 사피엔스라고 하기엔 너무 작습니다. 도대체 그녀는 누구일까요? 작은 신체가 
꼭 반지의 제왕에 등장하는 키 작은 종족과 비슷하다고 해서 호빗이라는 별명을 가진 인류. 호모 플로레시엔시스였습니다. So Homo floresiensis is a species known on the island of Flores in Indonesia. It's only known from one cave site, Liangbua, dated within the last 100,000 years, and yet this is a creature that is very small, maybe only one meter tall as an adult, with a very small brain about the same size as the brain of a chimpanzee, so not a human brain size. And yet this creature, we think, walked upright, so its body was a human body, but it had still some very primitive features. And we don't know where this creature came from, uh, how it evolved. There are different ideas. The main ideas really are that it is a descendant of a species called Homo erectus, so known from Java and from China, for example. And one idea is that species somehow got to the island of Flores, which is several hundred kilometers away, and Once on that island, the species became smaller, a thing called island dwarfing. So often when large mammals get onto an island, evolution uh, leads them to develop a smaller body size on an island. And so this maybe is what happened with Homo floresiensis. It started off very big, a big Homo erectus, and ended up as a small Homo floresiensis. So small that it's nicknamed the Hobbit because of this small size. Another theory is that this is actually a very primitive form, older than Homo erectus, maybe something more like uh, Homo habilis. So a very small human to begin with that somehow got all the way to Flores perhaps two million years ago. And then it stayed there and evolved in isolation until it died out. Bayungyangi Kuripdensomeso, 화산 폭발로 그들은 역사 저편으로 사라집니다.